Today is Tuesday, June 28th, 2022. It is day 141 of Blunder. And today, actually this morning, I kind of finished off day 140. Um, so yesterday, I basically just rendered 100 frames of this animation that you see in 140. And it took all day. And so this morning, I did the second part, which was to go to video editor in Blender and then um, import those images or those frames as a sequence. And then I rendered the animation, which was super quick, which is literally it took like two seconds. And so finished that up. Um, I could have put that as what I did today for Blender, but I kind of want to do a little bit more. So today, I think I'm going to pick another one of my bottles that I've done. I think I'm going to do a perfume bottle, one of the perfume bottles that I've done. And I'm going to basically do the same thing. And I'm doing this first. This is actually the first thing I'm doing um, in my dailies um, because it takes, again, all day. And hopefully, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to, I could shorten it. Um, oh, I could do the lipstick. The lipstick would be a lot, though, because it's like too... I don't know. I could do Wally. Not Wally. What's the other robot? Robot from Wally. The other robot from Wally. Um, I could do the perfume bottle. I was gonna do the, but I have another one. I have a Chanel one. Here we go. This one, but it has a liquid animation. I don't know. I just know that sometimes some of my renders, like I kind of messed up and um, didn't turn on X-ray toggle, so in the back it looks weird. Um, so I just have to make sure that it doesn't look weird from the back if I'm going to do that. Alright, so this was what? Day, um, it was 5, 5.22. So I'm just going to go and see if I have that. If not, I'll download it. So, let me see. Um, I just, I haven't been organized at all. So I don't know. I don't have all of my blends here. I don't even have, let me view details. Yeah, I don't, I only have the six ones. I don't have any fives, I believe. If I go to downloads and I go to view details. Um, oh, here they are. So what was it? Five, five, twenty-two. So should be down here. Five, five, twenty-two. Five, five, twenty-two right here. I don't know which one it is, though. Is it this one or is it this one? I think it's this one. Blender. Okay, so let me open that one up. And wait. Okay. Why do I have three Google Chromes open? Unpin. Whatever. Alright, so this is a Chanel that I worked on. The Chanel bottle that I worked on for day... What was it? Um, wrong page. Um, day 86. Alright, let me just close this out. Okay, so I'm gonna go... Oops. Hover over this edge, right-click, and join area. And just click on that. On the left side. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at now. What is this? in rendered view oh my god that's literally horrible like, what is that? that's so gross it looks like a what is that that's so weird is that just a piece it looks like a piece of cheese that's gross is that the liquid is that the domain that's funny actually i don't think maybe it's because i didn't <sighs> like the liquid files are different um, the liquid simulations. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the liquid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's horrible, actually. That's, like, literally horrible. Um, I don't know. Is this the file that I want to work with? Let me see. If I go to the domain, did I label it? That's the domain, yeah. So if I go to here, physics properties, and I go down, it's just weird. Why is it like that? What if I go to zero? That's so odd. That is so weird. It's not even positioned right. What if I just do modular and then do replay again and then let it play again? It's not even doing anything. Modular, replay, go to zero.
see if it's even working. I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. So I'll just wait a few seconds, I'll pause, and then come back when it's done. Alright, so at this point, I'm just going to press escape because it looks... It's not done, obviously, because I said 250, but I'm just going to um, click escape, and then I'm just going to see. Okay, so it stays like that. Okay, good. So I think that's good. Um, let me just do control S and then look at it in rendered preview so we can see the liquid appearing here. Only thing is, let me actually back at um, the render. It looks weird like definitely looking weird um it needs to be like a brownish reddish color so i'm gonna pump up that color um use my chrome extension color picker and try to get the darkest version of it and then i'll see if i can there to material properties which is like the dartboard icon scroll up a little bit and change the base color to be hex um something like that Someone just got. Pulled. Oh my god, I'm outside of my balcony, right? I just saw somebody literally getting pulled out of a stretcher. Like a bed stretcher from their home. Oh my god. Man, somebody can be dying in this neighborhood and nobody would know. Like, it's so quiet. Like, how is it like. I never even heard anything until they started walking. That's crazy. Oh my god, bless him. Alright, so I'm just gonna, I don't know why that didn't work, like, hello. 7F2701. myself, 7F27. There we go. Um, is that too dark? I feel like it is. We could do a linear gradient. Or not a linear gradient, <laughs> that's web development. I meant, um... Let me see, I I know I've done it before. I think I go to shading. Let me try it, let me try it. Something about constant linear, I forgot. I generally forgot. I did it with the mushroom video. Um, okay, hold on, let me open up a new one. And then go here. Um, let me just try to figure out where the mushroom video is. I had it, or that's when I did it. I think, I don't know. This is so slow. Can't even find it. Okay, well, this thing is taking its time. You know what? You know what? Not you know what. Okay, whatever. Um, color. Mix RGB. Was that it? I don't remember. It's not the shader, is it? I don't remember. Output, input. Um, color attribute. I know it was something. It was, okay, color, I think it was something map. It had the word map in it. Mapping, map, map, map. No. Let me do, let's try color RG, mix RGB. I don't think that's what it was, was it? No, it was kind of like, um, it had like a color thing, like a color I could see. RGB, no. It was like a bar. Um, it wasn't that ambient, no. Color attribute, no. Converter? Color ramp, that's the one. Okay, found that. Okay, great. 
So I changed, well, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do it on the, the glass. I meant to do it on the domain. So let me go to the outliner top right over here. Find where the, in the world I have the domain. Where is it? It's over here, right? So that's the liquid. And then over here, I'm gonna do add. I don't even remember where I found it. Color ramp. And then put it in here. Change the color to base color. And then at this point, um, I'll do the two colors that I want in here. So the first one, let me add one. Well, actually, no, let me delete one. This one just changed the color here. What's going on? Okay, nope, that's the wrong one. Um, what's the color again? I forgot. Oh, great, that's amazing. So, wait, I had it here. Let me remove that. This color over here, take that. So this color hex is going to be that one. And then I'm going to go back to this one and get the lighter shade of the color. Um, where, where's my stuff? Oh my god, wait, what? No, I told you. Oh, this is great. So I'm just going to do myself a favor and just search up day 86. I think that's what it was, day 86, right here. Perfect. See how easy that was instead of scrolling down, sorry. All right, and then I'm going to use my color picker and just take the lighter, like the lightest part over here. Um, copy that and then go and add one here and just change the color hex, put that there. That's not what I wrote. What is going on? Why doesn't it copy it? Oh my god. CC855E. CC. 855e okay so that's that and then i'll take um where's my stuff i'll take the middle color c26543 so i'll do another one move this here move this here change this to c what was it again c226f4 C 26 F 4 F 4 what? F 4 3 43 I could have done that okay put that in there um and then just move that there and then I believe that if I were able to see it let me hide this real quick and this and I mean sure <gasps> no, it remodeled itself. Oh my god, this is horrible. And it's, um, I think it's constant. I don't know. I'm so confused. Um, oh, it's because I never even put it in. Why am I so dumb? I'm so dumb. I literally, I don't understand why I do this to myself. Alright, um... We have that going on for us. And then I think, um, what was it? Was it linear before? Um, constant. I guess, whatever. All right, so because I did that, now I have to go back to my layout and render it again. So that's great. What if I go to zero? Yeah, I'm going to have to render it again. So, not render it again, but... And it's not baking either. What do you call it? Is it baking? I have to click on the domain, go to physics properties, go all the way down, and then... Let me do control S real quick. Modular. And then go back to replay. Because that's a bug for some reason. Like, usually, if you just click on the play button, it should run, but it doesn't actually. So, let's run that one more time, and then it should stay back into the domain type of thing. So you can see that happening here. I should have not done this in rendered preview because it's going to take longer. So that's great. Um, not longer, but it looks blurry. Oh my god, I just saw something funny on Instagram. Okay, so, oh wait. 
while we do that so the point of this whole video is actually not to even do this i didn't plan on like changing the color but actually it's to do a 360 animation to practice the skills that i learned yesterday while watching a tutorial um today i want to basically do it try to do it without looking at anything we'll see if i can we'll see but yeah so basically the goal is to do something like 140 i didn't like how it turned out 140 because well I don't know maybe I did like it. it's because of the lighting like the lighting messed things up and then here the shadow and then I forgot to account for the fact that milk doesn't just come from a ball you know but <laughs> forgot about that part I've done animations though where um it comes from like a sink type of thing like you know how in in uh in shops and like diners whatever they have you know the liquid and they just turn the on the toggle thingy and it just pours whatever liquid it is I did that, but, um, it, I don't know, I don't know, probably should have been better. Where is it? Over here, day 74, and day 75 also. Oh, wow, conveniently next to day 76, that's great. See, I did it over here, um... So this is what it's look looking like. And of course this thing is frozen again. So let's go back here, see how's it doing, how it's doing. Okay, I think I'm gonna let it go a little bit more. Where's open as page? Okay, it doesn't matter, you get the point. Actually, I don't think you did it. I don't think you saw it actually. <sighs> this is great, amazing. Okay, but yeah, here's the thing, right? So this here, right here, it turned out, it literally, um, I just took like a, a certain frame, right? And I and I rendered that frame, but I um, realistically, it started off as a ball, as a sphere, just like day, um, just like uh, this day right here, the cup day, the geometry node cup, the, oh, the orange cup, I think it was. Just like day 139, it started off as a sphere, just like it is right now. And then what happened was um, I just let it go, and then it's filling it up, and I just took a certain frame before it was, like, done. Because I did not have the patience for it to fill up. So I was like, let me just take a, like, one of those. Um, but yeah, this is essentially what it is. Um, and yeah, so I could have done that, but, you know, it's okay, it's okay. It was just practice that day, and I wasn't actually thinking of actually doing a video animation of it, so. Because, realistically, um, it was day 129 where I did it, it was just that frame render, right? So I didn't need to, like, come up with, like, a, uh, like a, what do you call them? The sync thing, whatever. The handle thingies, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, is this thing done? Let's go back to Blender. Okay, let me click Escape. Alright. And then let me go back to where I was right here, somewhere there. Okay, let me go to solid view mode, control S, and then I think it should be all right. Um, at this point, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. It's probably going to do it again. I'm going to have to run it again. doesn't matter either way. Um, okay, so at this point, um, let me set up the lighting because this ain't it. So um, I'm going to go top view. So I'm going to go actually 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 the lighting is fine the lighting is fine it doesn't have to be like that all i have to do is shift a go to empty let me actually do turn on my shortcuts here um shift a um scroll down to empty and take a sphere empty and i'm just gonna s right to scale it up g z to move it down z is a z axis right um, which is a z-axis, the blue line, yeah. G, Y, so G is grab, and then Y is to move it on the y-axis, which is the green one, and you can tell which axis is which color by this little toggle over here. Not toggle, what is this called? I don't even know. Um, and I think this is fine, just actually, no, it's actually not fine. Okay, move the plane, G, Z, a little bit. What is going on? Oh my god, is it two separate things? Yes, it is. G, Z, move it like that, and then I would move the empty, G, Z a little bit, kind of like that. All right, so um, let me see. Maybe I would take these two things and do G, grab it, and then X a little bit forward, like this. 
And then at this point, I'm just going to select, I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to stretch this out a little bit so these options can pop up. And I'm just going to enable the um, selectable toggle, turn that on, and then you should see it pop up in the outliner next to each of your objects. So for me, um, I'm just going to select the plane and try to find it should be highlighted. I'm just going to... Um, do, uh, how do you call it? Turn off or disable the selection so that when I select everything, you see that the plane, right, isn't selected. And I'll do the same thing for this one. So notice how I select everything, this the plane is selected. But if I s just turn this off and I select everything, it's not selected now. So that's one thing. And then once I do that, I'm just going to select the empty and then I'm going to do, I'm going to just press. Um, a and it should select everything else. Um, I probably should do the same thing for the with the camera also because I don't want that selected. So I'll select the empty again and then press A for all so that selects everything. And then I'll do Control P to parent, and then I'll just do Object Keep Transform. So um, that's gonna basically parent the um, empty. Oh, I forgot about all of this stuff over here on the side. So let me do control Z real quick. Control Z because I just did everything. Okay, let me just go here and just unselect all of these because these were my copies just in case I made a mistake. So let me unselect. Oh, that's a lot. I might as well have just deleted them. <clears throat> Um, anything else? This one? Okay, I think everything else is good. Good, good, good. Alright, so, and this too. Okay, so we're good. Anything? Okay, good. So again, I'm going to go here to the empty, and then A, select everything, right, That's that should be selected, which is the main object, and then Control P, and then Object Keep Transform. All right, um, so at this point, I did control P, right? Okay, so now if I do G, G, wow, I can't speak, G to grab it, oh my god. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, you see that everything moves along as well. So I did escape, um, and then I think, oh, I think it's fine. Thank you, Hennessy. Bye. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna just press N to turn on, to pop out this little, um, what do you call it again, the N panel? I call it the N panel. Um, or you could just like hover over this little thingy, thingy, I don't know what to call it, arrow, and it'll just pop this up. So at this point, um, I'm just gonna go and kind of move this up a little bit, this um, stuff here. I'm gonna go to keyframe one, and at this point, um, let me think. So I want the rotation to be zero. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to end this maybe at eighty. And so in the beginning, the rotation I want it to be zero. Wait, it depends on what view. Yeah, it's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over. Um, one of these, it doesn't matter which one. And actually, actually, maybe it does. I'll just hover over this Z in rotation. I'm just going to press I over it. And now, huh, interesting. Anyway, um, so that's keyframe one. So it'll turn yellow. And then I'm going to go to keyframe 80. And I'm going to go to the Z and I'm going to change it to negative 360 degrees so that my my perfume goes clockwise. And then I'm going to press, I'm going to hover over 
right, the, the Z, and I'm just going to press I. And what that does, it's going to insert a keyframe. And then you can clearly see it have, um, turning clockwise, basically, which I think is pretty cool. Look at that. Isn't it so pretty? So that's basically what I just did. Um, and then you want to make sure that, let me think. If I press on T, um, I want to make sure it's linear. So this means that it's always going to just keep going, I believe. And then um, I think that's it, right? That's it for this. So you can see. Um, and basically the reason we're using the Z-axis, I explained this in the other video um, yesterday, but I'm just going to kind of turn it on so you can see. So the Z-axis is the blue axis. So in the 3D world, even in real life, there's a Z-axis, right? So we, you know, you have your regular X, Y plane, but there's also like a Z plane. Um, um, not plane, axes, which is the blue one, which is the one up and down, right? And so when we're rotating something, I'm going to be rotating it. Um, it's my perfume is going, my perfume bottle is going to be rotating. How do you call it? Rotating around the Z axis, which is why, right? I wanted to, what did I just do? Oh my God, that scared me. Which is why I wanted to change the rotation, right? Um, value from keyframe 1 to keyframe 80 because if I set it in keyframe 1 it's 0 right and so if keyframe 80's rotation value is negative 360 then it has to change right throughout those keyframes to reach negative 360 degrees and you can see that it's rotating around the z-axis if I were to do it on the y-axis if it would it would like go backwards and just rotate like flip back and forward um, but because I did the z-axis which is the z-axis by the way z is z um, it does that and if I were to make it 360 then it would have gone the opposite way and it would have gone counterclockwise it would have started towards the left but if I make it negative 360 it's gonna go towards the right clockwise because it starts at zero so it's gonna go all the way to the negative 360 anyway um, that's pretty much it for that so then at this point I want to go to output property so I'm just gonna scroll this thing up um, so this is my properties panel just gonna press N to kind of move this and then move this a little bit down um let's see huh Never mind. All right. Um, so properties panel, right? And I'm going to go to the output properties. And then at this point, I'm just going to scroll all the way down, make sure this is at 80. And I'm going to go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to render the images. So instead of going over here and doing render animation, what I like to do is I adopted this method from, I don't know his name. I do know his name. No, I don't know his name. Yeah, I don't. I used to know his name. Hold on. I'm just going to really quickly pull up his name because he amazing videos I'm telling you like amazing ideas amazing explanations um I think I attributed him here or here definitely here though of course not okay great not here then let me go to the above one all right here um what's his name so he have ever began okay um how do you say it in english heber 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 he no i can't even say it in english that's just disrespectful literally because his name sounds real good in spanish ever Hever? Wait, but is it Ever or Hever? Hever. Hever Villalta. Let's ask Google. Hever Villa Alta. No. No, 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 no. Shh, shh, be quiet. Now. Ever See, I was right. It was Ever. Huh. Okay, Ever Villa Alta. So what he does, right, is that he um 
it's interesting because it's like it's giving like 1900s like Walt Disney type of idea because it's it's smart because that's how they used to do it in the past you know they used to make animations like real life characters and like they would move it and they would take a picture and then they would just take all of they would keep taking pictures 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 of each animation it would take so long for them for like a character to even walk down a road right and but because it was a picture right and then they would put all those pictures into a sequence and then it would turn into a video but notice notice how many pictures they would have to take so that it would look smooth right same thing here so he what he's doing is he's saying okay well it's going to take a while for it to render on video by itself so what he does is he renders each frame as a picture and then he goes on to later go to the video editor and he um inputs those frames right those images all as a sequence and then he renders the animation which just takes a few seconds which i think is amazing it's an amazing idea because before i could not get anything to render in a video like it was impossible so um this is great um yeah so um at this point i'm gonna go to output and i'm going to render these images but i have to tell it where to go and for some reason it always goes to tmp but i don't like that so i'm just gonna go here to the file icon as you can see i tried it once i didn't even notice until a few days ago that's what got me back into this video stuff so i'm gonna go to desktop blender and for me i'm just gonna create a new folder i'm gonna call it um bottle images Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start organizing myself. So this is going to be like um, videos. Or not videos. What did I do? Um, rename. I'm going to call it um, animation. That's not how you spell animation. Sorry. Animations. All right. I'm just going to put all of the... Where did it go? Hello? blender animations okay bottle images into animations oh i can't move here oh i guess i can't so let me do that real quick over here let me go to desktop blender and just put all of the animation pro projects that i've been working on in there so drink images and then cup images and i think that's it all right so let me go back here um reload animations and i'm gonna go here and oh i already have a bottle one so let me delete that oh the same properties apply okay so bottle images and i'm just gonna select this folder for um and it shouldn't be bottle images at this point it should just be um let me rename bottle because i'm also gonna have a video <laughs> folder in here so it's just kind of it should just be um the name of the uh project so maybe to be more specific perfume bottle okay so accept and put that in there all right so the file format should be png it should, the color should be rgba um let's see if i go to i think that's it yeah that's that's pretty much all there is to it so the only thing you have to change is the output you don't have to change it at all actually um, the output. If you want to leave it at TMP, you can do that, but I like to change it so I know where my stuff is. Um, so the output, that's literally all you have to change. Make sure that it's 80, and then at this point, right, you can go back. I just want to make sure, let me do Control S real quick, and then go to Render Preview, and just make sure that that's really nice and pretty there. And I want to make sure that my camera is set up nicely. So is it, is it set up nicely? I don't know. Um, is that the view that I want? Let me think. I think so, maybe. Oh, but here's the thing. This is the problem. Ah, this is a huge problem that I didn't account for. So I have a fluid simulation. And the fluid simulation, what I would usually do is I would just, you can see it here in wireframe view. I would, you're kidding me right now, right? Okay, I'm just gonna open it up, it's okay, I saved it, so that's fine. All right, but let me talk while it does that. So the liquid actually, um, what I would usually do is I would just render a certain frame where I thought that the image would look good, right? But because I'm doing a video, um, it's a problem 
because the liquid um it's gonna it's gonna take everything from the beginning and I don't want that for the liquid which is really bad um so I need to find a way where I could just get that mesh the way to kind of stay the same or what I could do is actually figured it out what I'll do is I'll just change the start time so because it kind of settles around 50 maybe 47 right I'll just go back to n right and I'll actually um, I'll make it start at 45 instead and then the rotation I'll set it to 0 and then I'll press I and then I'll change it to end at um, maybe a hundred something no maybe a hundred fifty something like that and then I'll go to keyframe 150 and then I'll just right it's already there so I make sure that's there it's weird though because it doesn't do that so hold on let me think um start at 45 and at 150 but I needed to have oh I over here but it stops at 80 weird why does it stop at 80 Oh, because it's already... Oh, okay, so that's good. So then we could do... Oh! Alright, it can stop at 80, I guess, if you want to so badly. 80, have that there. Press I. Okay, works that way. Perfect. So, um, yeah, my problem is fixed. Look at me, I'm so proud of myself coming up with solutions. Alright. So, because what I was originally thinking is that I was thinking some type of, like, geometry node type of thing where you could just convert it or, like, apply it kind of, like, and convert it to a mesh and then the geometry node, whatever you did in geometry nodes would become, like, its own object as if you were to have done it in layout mode. Um, and then I thought that, you know, that would be good. I haven't even tried it, though. Maybe I could do that. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't explored that as an option, actually. But I should. Is there any way to convert it to, I think there is I think there is an actual way to convert that to a specific like that shape to a specific mesh all right so I'll wait for this thing control s um, I'm gonna go back to uh, rendered previews so I could see it okay that's perfect and if I were to just go back say one not one I'm sorry 45 okay I could see that happening beautiful 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 all right and then at this point let me just go real back real quick back to solid mode click on zero whoa zero and that should pop me back into the camera view and I think if I let me see how it's gonna look like I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think that's good. All right, so I'm gonna do Control S. Um, make sure frames start at 45 and at 80. You have a location, and then at this point, I'm just gonna go to Render, and I'm going to Render Animation, and then that's gonna take a little while. Oh, you know what I could have done? Hold on, let me close this out real quick, and hopefully it doesn't crash. I can go to um, render properties and I can go and control the amount of samples that it takes for each frame. So maybe 50 I think would be great. So control S because it's going to take a little less while and it should look fine. Kind of, I think. I don't know. Render, render animation. And then now I'm going to wait for it to render. All right. So what it's going to do right now, it's just going to take 50. I guess it's going to take 50 samples of each frame. So if you think about it, it's like 50 times. <laughs> Oh god, um, it's like 50 images for one image, and it puts it all together, I guess, if you think about it that way, I don't know. Um, I don't know, that's how I interpret it as samples, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, I'm up to learning though. 
So for me though, it's as if it's taking 50 samples of the same image and then finally putting them all together, I guess, so that it's like less noisy and it's like perfect and whatever, and then that's one image. And then, but it does that for all images, and so it's going to do that for 45 to 80 images. Um, um, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, so it's going to do that for like, um, 45 to 80 images, which is like, what, 35? I don't know, 35 images? So, it's going to do like 50 times 35. Um, and then... Um, yeah, and then it's going to put that in that folder, and then we'll render it. So it's kind of going pretty quick, but you'll see that it keeps doing it for each image now. Yep. It says one hour, which is 